what do you expect what do you expect at a 25k what do you expect at a 25k tennis tournament Welcome back to my channel. This is Akila James. All the newbies, what's up, and all the returnees, what up? I am back with another tennis video. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Today I will be talking to you about the 25K in Sumter, South Carolina. Yep, that's right, Sumter, South Carolina. Sumter, South Carolina is not far away from Florence, Columbia, and it's not far away from Charleston, South Carolina. You can use any of those airports to get access to Sumter. You would have to drive into Sumter, no more than two hours to get to Sumter. I decided to go to this tournament because I was pretty high in the qualities and it was kind of possible for me to make the main job. I was still like number four in the the qualities but I wasn't sure but I decided to just jump on that plane I used my points capital one venture card and I paid about $15 for my flight because I used my points so it's basically taxes rented a car and I stayed by my friends so it really cut down the cost so I had a very nice time in Sumter I actually was staying an hour away from Sumter I was going to Charleston pretty frequently because Charleston is where it's at and the food is so dope I had to be in Charleston I got to the tournament pretty Pretty early I got to the tournament about three days before so I was able to practice and get climatized because I'm coming from New York the weather in New York was a little crazy so one day it will be 87 one day it will be 74 and pretty much South Carolina was 105 like, I needed to be there let's just say I needed to be there most of the time you should always be at a tournament prior to to get acclimated with the weather and the courts get prepared don't come unprepared I forgot the saying but yeah you know what I mean you know I've been to 15 K's you know I've been to 100 K's and many more but I've never really recorded these videos because I was so focused on playing tennis when I started to get serious on YouTube that's when I was like okay you know what let me share my experiences with other tennis players or aspiring professional tennis players so here I am the 25k tournament just means the tournament is worth $25,000 it's definitely not the lowest level and it's not the highest level but it's a very good level you win this tournament or you have a really good round in this tournament it will put your ranking up hundreds creep in there one thing I do love about the American tournament is if you're not a main draw player or a qualifying player and you're an alternate if you're like number eight and you notice that the people before you they're not really from around the area it's very possible for you to get to South Carolina and get in you can sign in on site and you can get into the tournament I had a person who's now a friend of mine who came and she was like number 16 alternate and she got into the tournament and not gonna disclose her name because that's my dog that's my road dog but you know what she went very very far so this was her first pro tournament and you know what her ranking is gonna be so much higher because she just showed up she she took the chance which America has that opportunity for you it's very possible that you can get in so that's really nice playing higher level tournament you can bump into the highest level sometimes could be 214 in the world 136 in the world as low as people who aren't ranked which is pretty tough obviously because if you're new don't have a ranking or if you have a lower ranking you really got to play out you really got to put the pedal to the metal there is an opportunity for you because 214 136 all the way down there's so many issues that can happen there's so many possibilities people can get injured and be stuck at another tournament visas might not process there's a lot of times where you get a buy the first round definitely don't shortchange yourself please don't shortchange yourself in a 25k even though you aren't ranked because there is always a possibility for you qualifiers have to sign in on site this will be the Sunday before the tournament between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. sometimes the tournament director is there early so you can sign in early while you're getting your balls for practice most of the time you will not have balls this Saturday well you're definitely not gonna have balls the Friday but the Saturday you might not even have balls either because they advise people to get to the tournament the day before the quality starts I want you to know the sky is not the limit and there's tons of space don't put limitations on yourself even though this is a 25k because everything is possible the flight structure I'm flying from New York so my flight to Charleston was about $250 the flight from New York to Columbia was about $500 to like $750 which was outrageous and the flight from New York to Florence I didn't check because I wouldn't go to Florence the bigger airports are Charleston and Columbia I had enough miles to get the flights I was like yeah sure I'm not paying for it that's the perks also of being on tour because you travel so much you can accumulate miles to go on your next trip so don't make this thing super difficult make sure that whatever airline that you travel with you sign up for their rewards points please 
please do that. Please be a member of Rewards because that is going to be your best friend. Now I just want to walk with you through the entrance of the facility. This entrance is really easy. It's a very big facility. There's over 20 courts. It is public courts, which is really nice. So very easy to get into. There's no security. Anyone can come and see the tennis courts. There are chairs provided for you. There's water provided for the players. I think for you too, there's bathrooms. There's a lounge area. And there's also a place for you to sign in for the tournament. The entrance is where you can get stringing, where you can buy things like electrolytes and maybe a power bar. And you sign in for practice courts. You sign in for doubles. You sign in for alternates. So this is the entrance of the whole tournament. So it's very, very useful. You have to know where that place is because even for the qualies when you're signing in, before the qualies, they might call you for your match. And you have to report to that entry. Because if you don't, you can get defaulted. Make sure you know where this entrance is. That's going to be your best place. That's going to be your most go-to place at a tournament other than the tennis courts. Most of the hotels that they give you or that they offer for you to stay in are pretty much a mile or less from the tournament. And they also would have times where the buses are able to drop you to the tournament or pick you up from the tournament. That is convenient. The tournament hotel is usually very expensive. But I would say if you're in a place like Sumter, Florida, you can stay in Airbnb if you like. You can stay in another hotel. It's recommended, obviously, that you stay in a tournament hotel, but here in America, it's accessible. If you have a car already, you don't even need to be there. So yeah, don't feel pressure about staying at the tournament hotel, but I would suggest if you're in a different place in the world, if you are in a different part of the world, you might want to stay in the tournament hotel because <laughs> you don't know the place, right? So let, let, let's be wise. Let's be wise. Practice courts are here. There's so many. Like I said, they all have numbers on them. They all have scorecards. They all have roaming umpires as well as umpires on on the court when you reach a certain level. So all main draw matches, singles and doubles have umpires on the court. The last round of qualies, you will have an umpire. So this tournament is really nice because it's so big and the courts are nice. The courts are slow, you know, just to give you that little pointer. Sometimes it can be windy. It's a nice tennis facility. For food, there weren't so many food or restaurants around the area. Uber Eats was very accessible and Uber was not. But if you got an Uber, that was great. But there are taxis. Alistair's was there, Firehouse, and obviously the other fast food restaurants. There's not much. There's a lot of Thai. There was sushi there, but again, you order Uber Eats so that you can get your food ASAP. The 25K in Sumter is just one tournament. There's no tournament after. There's not two 25Ks back to back. It's just one 25K. The week long tournament is women's, no men. There was a little talk about having more tournaments because the courts are public, as I said before. So there might be a UTR there in the future, and there is also pickleball everybody's playing pickleball all the elders were playing pickleball while they had tennis matches they would come to our courts watch our matches and then go play pickleball or play pickleball and then after their pickleball they come and they watch our tennis matches so that was nice to see at tournaments there's sponsors so all the people who sponsored the tournament board sonic the temperature was about 105 degrees fahrenheit that is very very hot so we were always on a temperature watch because it was so hot outside you were sweating all the time you needed a towel you needed a towel you needed electrolytes you needed Gatorade I'm telling you, you would not have made it the first day was so hard for me my I played a match it was about two hours it was very very difficult for me because I had to get climatized I felt like the longer I played the more I got climatized but by that time I already lost that was unfortunate only the toughest of the toughest survived this one man just make sure you're ready to play and work hard and really put everything out there no one can say anything to you as long as you put everything you have into your matches you not many people have the opportunity to play a higher level tournament so you have it use it you're on your own buddy you're on your own also during your matches they do give you ice so you can take ice in a the bag they give you water so you're well taken care of let me tell you it's either in the beginning of the tournament or towards the end when you're exiting the tournament the tournament will give you a usda tag your name on it or a space where you can put your name on it and then they will give you a t-shirt usually the t-shirt would have something about the tournament on it so it might have like 25k sumter tennis association i know you guys want to see me play matches and you're not allowed to take videos of your matches at a tournament so thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and any questions that you may have again let me know in the comment section you guys have been communicating with me very well and i appreciate it let us keep growing and any questions that you might have i'm here to help i'm here to answer bye